I think what you've experienced the last three to four years is a kind of a bubbling up of three or four different narratives that are going on. Uh, and and when you say digital, I think I everything is digital nowadays. And I think that's been a catalyst for these three or four narratives. The first narrative is technology. The second is data. Uh, the third is all about consumer user experience and brands. And I think the fourth key one is content. Uh, and digital obviously spans all of those narratives. I think up until now, they've been um, disparate narratives and held, you know, discussions being held in, in silos. I think what you're starting to see now and can is, is one of the many kind of moments in which we do come together and discuss these issues. I think what you're going to start to see is how this all converges because content has been discussed very largely in the viewpoint of creative and creating content, producing content, and data and technology has been, you know, in, in literally in different meeting rooms, where now we're coming together and bringing those different skill sets together to understand truly how marketing and product messaging and user experience can be brought together, together through technology, data, and content. We are at the middle of kind of uh, I would call it kind of two ways of thinking. Uh, and there's a kind of like tectonic plates that are shifting against each other. On the one hand, uh, a lot of this data is being looked at as, as almost like a direct response uh, mechanism to truly see how consumers immediately respond to uh, commercial messages. And obviously the math guys, as you, as you put it, would love to say that that's um, exactly how we can report on every kind of dollar that we spend on advertising. But I also think there's another kind of play here, which is the kind of the brand planning element and understanding how consumers relate to brands. And all of that is underpinned by data. Now, on the one hand, there's data that is directly relatable to digital dollars. But on the other hand, there's also data that is touch points that consumers have with brands and how they react to certain brand messages. What we now have to do is kind of bring that together and have a layer above all of that data and all that wonderful technology to have what I would call a convergence of brand planning with great channel planning, whether that be, that be digital or account planning. On a general point of view, this is the very best time to be in our industry. Uh, um, on the one hand, it's really, really frightening because there's so much change going on trying to keep up with change. And on the other hand, to answer your question is, I think we should no longer think in channels anymore. I think we think in connectivity and we think in user experience. And so when you ask me about what is the most exciting channel, I actually say there is no such thing as an exciting channel. It's technology and how consumers respond. So what, one of the things I love doing is putting our, our, our clients and their budgets together with technology companies to work out how they can create genuine value exchanges for our for their customers so value exchange could be a form of utility it could be a form of entertainment it could be a form of information or it can be a form of reward and i think technology can really be used together with paid owned and earned media to bring that to life and that's why it's huge exciting what about the whole idea of brands associating with web original video where do you think that might be going uh, I think that's one of the hugely exciting uh, areas. And you can do that, and again, going back to the, the value exchange of reward, entertainment, uh, utility, uh, or education, partnering with anyone that produces content, be it original or just uh, branded content, is a huge opportunity. And it's a careful, nuanced skill to identify the right brand match with the brand and the talent and the producers to create that. So I think it's a huge area.